Hi, um, UK OK here and I just thought I would give you an update on what's happening in the garden. I thought you might be interested to see uh, what's going on and what uh, I'm growing. So here on the patio we have lots of herbs and a few flowers, most of which I've either bought very cheaply um, or have grown from seed. So. Let's go through those. Now, this is Clematis growing up with cane and uh, that was just a very bargain plant. That was a very cheaply bought plant. Um, this is Sage. I think I paid about 10 pence for it because it was dying and I repotted it and it seems to be doing great now. This is Lavender which only cost me 10 pence because it was all like this. It was dying and in despair and I gave it a, a, a new pot to grow in and it's since got lots more flowers on it and it looks lovely. Um, chrysanthemums just beginning to germinate in this one here, in this pot I just sowed those seeds. Mint is something that I'm trying to grow because I love mint, I especially like mint tea, but unfortunately, although it's supposed to be one of the easiest things to grow, I'm finding it very difficult to germinate. It's just starting to come through now, but this is about three weeks, four weeks after I've sown it. Uh, basil, I love basil, oregano, etc. Uh, in uh, pizza and in many pasta sauces that I cook with. Um, over there you can see the thyme, golden thyme, which I rescued from near death at a garden centre. I think that was 40p or something. This rather prolific, lush looking pot full of uh, greenery is parsley, which I grew from seed. Um, this one is Dianthus, which are going to be some lovely little flowers when they come through. Next door to that is my favourite, well it will be if it grows, that's forget me nots which is actually my favourite flower of all. Uh, here we have some tomato that's, there's no tomatoes on it yet, but it's a tomato plant that I've grown from seed. As is that, as is that, as is that, and as is that. Uh, elsewhere, I'm growing Cape Gooseberry. Obviously they don't look anything like gooseberries, and they don't look anything like a gooseberry bush, because I've grown them from seed. So in about two years they should be significantly developed to actually produce some fruit. In this one, and this one, and this one we have beetroot seedlings. I'm hoping that I'll get a good production of uh, beetroot so that I can pickle some of them. In these three, or four, should I say, they, uh, there are more tomato plants, but they're quite a lot more tender, so to protect them while it's still quite cool, I've made homemade cloches out of um, spring water bottles. I don't usually generally drink spring water, but uh, there was a, an offer on, and um, I wanted to make use of the most cloches much cheaper. Uh, in here, this is one of the gr two grow houses that I have and it's not at full production really because I've had to remove some trays to allow for the development of the plants at the bottom. I have two tomato bushes, that's one, and this is the other. At the moment there's no fruit but there are flowers just beginning to form. If you just bear with me, I don't know if you can see them there. At the front we have something I bought from the shop actually. This is a bit of a cheat aubergine because my aubergine that I sowed from seed failed to grow. As is that one, that's the second aubergine. There's a lot of um, green fly on it actually this morning so I've sprayed it. Uh, these are some things that are grown from seed. I'm trying rosemary which is apparently one of the hardest things to grow. Uh, I only sowed that a few days ago so I don't know if I'll have more luck. This is some lavender that I took cuttings from Dad, Mum and Dad's garden, with permission. <laughs> so I'm trying to grow that on there. There are some, let me just lift that up, there's some pepper seedlings and lots of little tomato plants here. I, I'm actually thinking they probably won't do very well this year because they're quite small now. And the growing season may not allow for too much fruit to come on them. In the second of my grow house we have some 
squash, 50 pound squash seedlings and uh, sprouts, I'm trying to grow sprouts. I want sprouts on my Christmas dinner that are homegrown, hopefully. Oh, what's in this one? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, courgettes. I didn't, I, some of my courgettes got eaten by bugs and slugs. Uh, so I've sown some more seeds and I don't know if you can see this because I can't see the screen. I think my chives are just starting to come through as of, what are they? Oh yeah, celery parcel. And because I love parsnips, I've sown some more in trays and they should be planted on if they start to grow, grow through. And uh, I put them in one of my raised beds. Uh, and here we have some cucumber that's failing. Oh, I was just going to say it's failing to germinate and then I spotted that bit there. So actually, we may have a cucumber plant. And next to it is a very prolific jungle of homegrown salad leaves, mixed salad leaves which are fantastic with uh, baked potatoes etc at the bottom some more cake gooseberries I've put, I kept some outside and some inside because the danger of uh, pests etc I was hoping that if they got one lot they wouldn't get the other uh, another homegrown tomato plant now, this is a cheat this is a pepper plant because I have grown peppers from seed up, up there but um, on the other shelf, not in heaven, uh, but unfortunately uh, they didn't germinate very quickly so I decided to cheat and buy a couple of pepper plants as well. They're just sweet peppers which are great in salads etc. So this is the patio area and uh, next door we have our two water receptacles And uh, should there be a hose pipe ban, which is very unlikely because we don't live in a very warm climate, um, but should there be a hose pipe ban, I'll still be able to water the veggies a little at least. Okay, from here then down the garden is uh, a lot of other things that I'd like to show you, so let's go and take a walk. Hello, Bella. That's my beautiful dog. I love very much. And he likes to nibble on lots of things, especially the peas. Okay, uh, here we have, actually this is not my growing expertise. This is a, a trough that Dad gave me with his onions in. My onions are tiny. Dad's are really doing spectacularly well. Mine are in that raised bed over there. Um, and uh, they're not doing as well. By a long shot. Um, next door here, the onions are what I think, although I don't know because I've never grown them before, are sunflowers. Um, I found them growing in some of the raised beds and um, decided to pot them up and in one of them I did actually find the shell on one of the leaves of a sunflower seed. So I, I think what's happened is when I put bird seed out for the birds, they picked them up and scattered some of the seeds about etc okay so let me just step over here and now we have um in a row here i have five pots actually they're not pots they're recycle bags which you can see the front let's have a look yeah. and instead of recycling paper in them i decided to plant some uh, potato, seed potatoes in them. So these won't be ready for some time yet. These are second earlies. Um, I've already pulled some first earlies out but it was quite a disappointing crop because I didn't wait long enough to pull them. So these won't be ready for some time yet. Next to these we have our broad beans, or some of them. They're just beginning to develop flowers. I've never grown them before so I don't really know what happens. It's all a bit of a learning curve. But I love broad beans so hopefully they won't all get eaten by the birds. That's the idea of putting this bit of net over it. Um, next door we have carrots and what I did with this pot is I started 
I said, I'll try to sow some carrot seed. And um, I just left it for a while and it did absolutely nothing, did bugger all. So I just decided to overturn the pot into um, this pot of soil that I have here. And uh, I decided that if anything grew, it would be a miracle. And then all of a sudden everything, of course, decided to grow. And now there's too much. So there's lots of thinning out to do because as you can see it's rather prolific and it doesn't allow room for growth so i try and take every now and then i try and take some out to allow for some to grow really well okay um next to this we have one of the bushes that i 